I uh, grew up in Canada. I'm also an American citizen, dual U.S.-Canadian citizen. I'm very lucky. I'm very happy to be here with you. That's uh, really exciting to be here. I've been doing theta healing now for a little over seven years. Uh, and I'm a theta healing master, a teacher, and practitioner. I've been lucky enough to be traveling different parts of the world and uh, teaching people this wonderful technique and doing sessions and meeting great people like you and Thomas Love and the rest. So Vianna's, <laughs> Vianna's presence is really interesting. She changes in conjunction or according to who you are. Her energy seems to present, her, present in a way that allows you to accept her and understand and listen and, and, and learn what it is that she's brought to learn. In some places, she says that when she goes to different places, people think she's from different countries. People, I forget which country, but there's one country where they, she goes to and everyone thinks she's Indian, like from India. And other people go there and she thinks she's Irish. And then somebody else sees her and thinks she's, you know, Native American. So her energy is fluid and it changes and adjusts naturally to the consciousness of the people she's in front so that they can see and accept and learn and become who they are. It's, it's, it's really amazing. Yeah, I, I love it. She's, and she's constantly growing as well. I mean, she's this, this incredible world teacher that's here for a very specific reason to help all of us let go of the old ways, the old world, and move into a much more of a heart-based way of living and existing through bringing this wonderful technique, this theta healing technique to the world and teaching us and helping us really remember how to do this because we all know how to do this. If you've taken a theta healing class from Vianna or me or Thomas Love, we're not teaching you anything new. We're just the person that you've asked for us to become so you can remember what you already know. And Vianna is that on the biggest scale. It's really a gift to the world. There are a number of different levels of that, of, of teaching people how to collect that energy, that power, that light, of which is really kind of what we are. The first level in my experience in both working with people and teaching people is that everything that we experience, including the experience of, as you say, collecting the light, collecting the love, collecting the energy of who we really are, which is really what our identity is. This is who we really are. This, this light, this unconditional love, this pure consciousness, this unified field, whatever name you want to call it, this God energy, whatever name you want to call it, I don't care what the name is you call it, this is the stuff, this highest energy is the stuff that every atom of our existence is made from. Every atom of the existence of everyone and everything is made from. And our ability to experience ourselves as this energy is filtered sometimes at different levels and in different degrees through what we believe is true about ourselves, what we believe is true about the world, the attitudes and the opinions and the fears that we have. And all of these fears, as many of the people that have taken the Theta Healing classes be, have begun to understand, and even after seven years, I'm still beginning to really understand it. Every time I teach a class, i like, oh my God, I didn't understand it before. Now I do. The way we experience everything is based on these deep unconscious belief systems about what we think is real. It's, it's like the mechanism that the Creator gives us to exercise our free will, not just intellectually and through the ego, but through our DNA. We, we, we've, we've chosen to come in as, in my case, you know, a, a Canadian with Irish ancestors, and I, and, I, and I accepted many of the attitudes and beliefs and ideas that the Irish ancestry has as part of my plan, and part of my plan to begin to let go of and free, free myself for it. And so whether it's genetic, whether it's experiences that you've had in past lives, whether you realize it consciously or not right away, all of this is like the filter that bring this light of perfection through. And sometimes it includes fears, and sometimes it includes having no fear in a really good way. And the job, in my opinion, the job of the Theta Healing practitioner and teacher is to help people begin to realize what's deep within, within inside them and begin to use the simple techniques. It's a simple, simple technique 
to, number one, find the things that are blocking us from understanding who and what we really are. We, who and what we really are being that beautiful, perfect, amazing light that's the source of everything. That's our real identity. Finding these things that, that cause us to think we're not that light, that cause us to think or feel that we're different or we're separate or we're not worthy or we're afraid or we're under attack or we're sick. Release those gradually, bit by bit, in a way that we can handle so that, so that day by day, moment by moment, year by year, we begin to realize and let go and become more and more and more of that light naturally, consciously, unconsciously, and just begin to shine and radiate that higher truth, that pure love. Half the time we don't even know we're doing it. Who knows what's going on in this room right now? I mean, I'm seeing you across the table and we have my, my wonderful friend Thomas Love and there's the blue walls and the green table, but there's probably just this brilliant light shining right now that's going through the airwaves and through the internet to whoever and whatever is listening whether it's in this moment today, or next week, or 10 years from now. And we're all getting an opportunity to experience the peace that comes from being exposed to, and we get another experience of beginning to remember who we are. And with these techniques we get to have, we get to do, we get to offer to people, we get to, to live, we begin to let go of the misconceptions we have that we're not that light. There's a, 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 one of my favorite quotes is a, is a quote by, but I think it's a Buddha quote. And he says, enlightenment is just progressive disillusionment. And with the theta healing technique, every time we find an unconscious limiting belief that makes us think we're separate, and we do the little technique and go poof, and we no longer believe that at whatever deep level, suddenly we've let go of an illusion and we become more enlightened. And that's what we get to do with this technique. It's just amazing. Theta healing is a very, very good way. It's probably the most important, useful way for me today that I use. It's the most important technique and tool I use. Is it the only one? Absolutely not. The key to finding and unraveling the mystery of who you really are within yourself is figuring out the ways of operating from your heart, from what feels good. There's been centuries and centuries and centuries of living from the head. And there's been many amazing, beautiful, wonderful things that comes from the intellect and comes from the figuring things out like there. But what it is that really drives people is when they feel good. Where is the passion within their, their lives? Does it have to come through theta healing? No way. It can come through whatever it is within your own heart that makes you feel good. You obviously have a, a passion and a love for this kind of communication. It's part of who you are. It's part of what you've come through, come from. And it brings you a kind of joy that's unique to you because the way you use this medium of communication is very unique. Yes, there are other people that do similar things to you as you do. You have found a way to live your life through joy by participating in life and in the thing that brings you joy. So the one thing, if I was to tell somebody to do one thing to help them unravel themselves, the first thing I would not tell them to do necessarily is to do theta healing. Maybe they will. I hope they do because it's great. But unless it brings you joy, that's the key. Accessing the heart. What is it that feels good? Um, and what is it that brings joy and allows you to become? What are the things that you can do that allows you to become the feeling of joy, become the feeling of peace, become the thing that you want to see in the world. It's, it go, it's the same old thing, for Gandhi. Become the change you want to see in the world. What is the change you want to see for, for yourself, for the world, for everything, and what can you do that brings you that joy that you can share with everyone else? So f unraveling the mystery is about going into your own heart and clearing away the misconceptions and finding what it is that brings you the most joy. Because it's about becoming that joy. That's the biggest thing I could say that I would suggest to people to do.